Okay, so in this short video, we're going to take a look at how business intelligence can be enhanced from a forecasting perspective with Crystal Ball. So this particular data set, we've got um, two years, close to three years of historical data. This is actually um, revenue data for a particular product that's being sold. And we want to try and create a forecast for the next 12 months. Um, we can see also a table of data for the current year, so not, not the same time frame, but we can see we've got actuals jammed through to September, and we want to try and populate um, the forecast for the remaining three months, and a little more on the chart. Um, and just also to maybe point out um, or highlight, because it's probably already quite clear in the data, but we've got an overall upward trend in the data, and we've also got these um, cyclical peaks and troughs in there, so we would want our forecast to also really take that into account. Okay, so I'm going to select this link to generate the forecast. I get a little message that pops up that says my forecast has been generated, and I can actually see the crystal ball chart that shows me the forecast. So the green line is the historical data, same as we just saw a moment ago in the dashboard. The blue line then is the method that Crystal Ball has selected as being the closest fit into that historical data. So this is using um, the ARIMA method. And we can see the forecast that it is generating forward for the next 12 months. If I just minimize that and refresh my dashboard, then I should see that forecast also now populating my BI dashboard and in my chart for the next three months on the table and, and 12 months here on the chart. And maybe just to show a little touch of what's in the uh, the background here. So this is a connection through SBase, Smart View. Um, I can see the same data set as the forecast that I've just populated has just been automated to run. Um, also means you can, as an end user, we saw that Arima was the best fitting we can look at the other methods that were tested and tried, and if for some reason the uh, the analyst wants to come in and change the forecast to this seasonal additive damp trend, seasonal additive, um, if I override that, I can paste that. Instead, you should see these numbers change as I click OK. Perhaps difficult to spot because it uh, shifted, um, but then if I click on Submit, to get those numbers into the SBase data source. And I should again be able to just refresh my dashboard. And a slightly different forecast is also now populated in here. So hopefully that gives you a, a, a good indication of how you can use Crystal Ball to, to generate some trends and some forecasts in, in business intelligence. Thanks.